There are three moles in this diatomic gas. We'll assume as usual that the molecules rotate but don't vibrate, so their degrees of freedom equal five, three from translations and two from rotations. We're told that the temperature is increased by 40 Celsius and we're asked to calculate several things. Let's start by solving part B, the change in internal energy. We know from the equipartition theorem that each molecule has one half kT of energy per degree of freedom. The internal energy of n moles then equals the number of degrees of freedom divided by two times nRT. With F equals five, the change in internal energy equals 5 halves nr delta t. And you can substitute values to find that this equals 2.49 times 10 to the third joules. Part A asks us for the energy transferred by heat. That's Q, and it equals the number of moles times the molar specific heat at constant pressure times delta T. The molar specific heat at constant pressure equals Cv plus R. For a diatomic gas, the specific heat at constant volume is 5 halves R, so Cp equals 7 halves R. And we can substitute this. And either calculate again or realize that this is 7 fifths the value that we had before. Either way, it works out to 3.49 times 10 to the third joules. Part C asks us for the work done by the gas. At constant pressure, that work is P times delta V, the change in volume. And from the ideal gas law, this equals NR delta T, only valid at constant pressure. You can either substitute values or realize that this is two-fifths, the value we calculated in part A. Either way, you get 997 joules. And in part D, we're asked by how much its rotational kinetic energy changes. We know from the equipartition theorem that the energy in each degree of freedom is one-half kT per molecule. So in the entire gas, we have the number of moles times Avogadro's number, one-half kT per degree of freedom. If we substitute now Boltzmann's constant equals R over Avogadro's number and take the two rotational degrees of freedom, then the change in rotational energy is the degrees of freedom divided by two times nR delta T. Substitute in the value of two to see that this is the same expression that we found in part C. It's nr delta t, so it equals the same value, 997 joules.